me. Now, this movie uh, is uh, called The Deliverance, and it is a supernatural, faith-based horror film. I just want to see this film so bad. but <laughs> Faith-based never, horror never film, uh, partially inspired by the Ammons Haunting Case. It is directed by Lee Daniels, uh, written by David Cog- Coghall and Elijah Bynum. Now, the film stars Andre Day, love featuring her. Rob Morgan, Caleb. Love say what? Love them. Oh, love them. Uh, Caleb McLaughlin, Anjanue Ellis Taylor, Tasha Smith, Omar Epps, The Return of Monique. Monique. And believe it or not, Glenn Close. Okay. Hell of a cast. Hell yeah. of a cast. Yeah. Um, and the film, uh, you know, to me, I mean, the description that they wrote up. Is not good, but let me explain what it really is. <laughs> it is Amityville horror meets The Exorcist with black people. That just doesn't sound like it should happen. <laughs> Look, <laughs> one more time. Amityville horror uh-huh. meets The Exorcist with African Americans and faith. It, it just doesn't seem like it should work. All right, so let me break this out Because we don't do that stuff. No, no. <laughs> let, me, let, me, let, me, let me break this down for you. So the film centers on uh, Ebony, played by Andre Day, who's fa- – and it's also – and I apologize for stopping in the middle. It's literally inspired by a true story. A true so story. This, yeah, you said this that. is based on stuff that actually happened, right? So uh, Ebony, people. played by Andre Day, is the mother of three – uh, her husband, we we hear, has gone away. I think he's at war in Iraq or something, so he's not home mm. with the family, right? But they move into this house, and, you know, I give Lee Daniels and the writers a lot of credit for the setup, right? Because initially, everything on the surface looks like it's okay. Um, the mother comes by. Glenn Close plays Andre Day's mother in this. And I promise you, Charles Kirkland, this is a Glenn Close character you've never seen before. Glenn Close has never done anything remotely close to what she does in The Deliverance. She is an around-the-way mama to Andre Day who has had a checkered past but has now found faith. But her and her daughter are still at odds because of how she treated her before she found the Lord. Okay. Right? Okay. But Glenn Close has the has the, has the hairstyle and the mannerisms of looking Did like an around the way girl. Blackface? Glenn Close. <laughs> I, I remember the first time she showed up on screen, I was like, how did Lee Daniels get her to do that? <laughs> and wow. I asked her, because again, the interviews with Lee Daniels, Ajanu Ellis, Glenn Close. And, and all these guys are on the site right now. So just go watch the interviews because I was asking these questions like, how'd that happen? But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> she, they, they are in this house and, you know, little things which, you know, and, and I was telling Charles because we're going to talk about another uh, sci-fi movie that one of the things that bothers me about sci-fi movies or these, sci- these sorts of movies is that there are things like like I think the reason why I don't like these movies and I've shared this and yeah, Jessica may yeah, have never yeah. heard this is that people do things in these movies that Tim Gordon would never do right I'm I'm a student enough to know that if I'm in a house and there are flies buzzing around a door in a house Tim would probably either open the door and investigate why the flies are there but I wouldn't just walk past the door and see <laughs> stuff buzzing and it don't smell right. What's going on? I'm, I'm not going to go down there. So all of this is happening in the house. 911. And there's this little, <laughs> there's this small son who's just a little off. Everybody else is cool, but there's, there's something about the son. He's talking to himself. He's, he's waking up in the middle of the night doing stuff that's just real strange, right? And we come to find out that, um, and I'm trying to figure out how much of the movie I should tell. Let's just just let's just say cuz I don't want to spoil it. Let's just say there's a reason that the little boy is acting the way he's acting. Mm. And soon the reason that the little the, the youngest is acting that way begins to affect the other kids, right? Okay. And then as all this is happening, there's this mysterious person who's lurking around that like they don't explain 
why this uh, character that Anjanu Ellis is playing is just kind of hanging out, right? Until one day, something really traumatic happens, and she introduces herself. She is an apostle. Okay. And something's in this house that's trying to get your kids. And I'm here to try to help you because after I explain to you what happened in this house, you're like, oh, oh, now what's up? But the difference with this one and The Exorcist, <laughs> which is really fun for, for people like Jessica who's never watched The Exorcist. In The Exorcist, remember, they had to go and recruit a priest. A priest. Because the priest had to come in there and be doing all the ominous, ominous, ominous Right, right, right. It, the, and this time, the power look, of Christ compels you. But well, watch this. But in this one, uh, Janu Ellis' character, the apostle, I don't need a priest because God is the, inter- the intercessor. I was like, whoa. <laughs> and then we go from there. Love me some this Ajinu movie Ellis. here, let me tell you something. I sat there, and if you are a person of faith, there was a lot of Jesus calling on Jesus in the third act because okay. that movie started getting crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the deliverance, bro. I, as a rule, don't like these sorts of. I like. I'm not a horror film guy. Not but what all. I do like are psychological thrillers, like uh, and horror in that way, right? Now, this one I can watch. It's a scary movie, man. <laughs> it's a, it's absolutely a scary movie, man. But it's a faith based film because it's about the power of good and evil. And if you're a faith-based person, you already sort of know. But the way Daniels put it together, maybe you just don't know. Wow. So, yeah. Okay. So I would give, and I've been thinking about this for two weeks since I've seen this movie. What would I give this as a grade? Hmm. You know, the deliverance feels that it's, it's somewhere between a B or a B plus. B plus. 